Birmingham Hip Resurfacing, or BHR to use its abbreviation, is a surgical technique that can be used to treat osteoarthritis, or OA, of the hip. It was developed in the UK in the 1990s and has been available in Hong Kong since 2003. The hip is a ball and socket joint that connects the femur, or thigh bone, to the pelvis. Inside the joint, the ball and socket are lined with cartilage, which is a super smooth Teflon-like surface that allows for smooth motion of the ball head within the socket. In osteoarthritis, this cartilage is worn out. To make things worse, bony outgrowths called osteophytes can also grow around the joint. Osteoarthritis reduces the range of motion of the hip and can make it very painful. Total hip replacement, or THR, is a technique pioneered in the 1960s for replacing hips damaged by OA. It consists of two implants, the cup, which replaces the acetabulum in the pelvis, and the ball head and stem, which replaces the neck and head of the femur, or thigh bone. Hip replacement has been one of the great successes of modern medicine. This is an example of a modern version of one of the first successful designs of hip replacement. There's a femoral stem with a metal, or in this case, ceramicized metal head, and a polyethylene cup, and they fit together like that. These work very well, but eventually the plastic wears out, and they can, in extreme positions, dislocate. In order to reduce the problem of wear, ceramic bearings were developed. The ceramic's extremely hard, the wear is minimal, so these can last for a long time. But ceramic is brittle, and occasionally the ceramic can shatter, particularly in extreme sports. And like a conventional plastic hip, in extreme positions, they can dislocate. So to overcome those problems, resurfacing type hips were developed. And you can see they look quite different. The resurfacing is made of metal, and of course it's very strong, it won't break. Also, because it's larger, it's very unusual for these to dislocate. In a conventional hip replacement, we cut off the femoral head and neck and replace it with the artificial device. In a resurfacing, we retain the head and neck and just cover it with the artificial device. Importantly, in BHR, the implants are very close in size to the hip's worn out ball and socket. This allows for a greatly reduced risk of dislocation, which means most patients, given time, are restriction free and can return to any sports after BHR. Finally, since BHR is a resurfacing procedure, it leaves as much of the original bone in place as possible which has the added benefit that many years down the line, THR is still an option for a patient, should it ever become necessary. In my opinion, hip resurfacing is a wonderful operation. Many patients say their hip feels normal, they go back to living normal lives, including playing sport, including extreme sports. BHR is best suited to younger active men with OA of the hip who still play sports. That's to say, men under 55. In certain circumstances, BHR is also suitable for older men who have retained an exceptionally high level of activity. I Thinking back, I can see that it happened that some things started really early. I remember at one point in probably about 1998. Um, I hadn't bicycled for a while and I went to get on my bicycle and found that it was difficult. I couldn't get my leg up over the saddle and it is assumed that it was just, I'd just gotten stiff from not using it for a while. So I had the operation more than 10 years ago now and the pain was, was getting progressively worse and it was beginning to restrict my activities. I was still playing competitive frisbee back then, and after maybe three hours of playing, when I was finishing up and getting set to go home, I'd have a little stiffness in my hip. And I thought that at the time, um, it was a sciatic problem. Much to my chagrin, obviously it turned out to be some severe osteoarthritis 
worn away and basically bone on bone. 跑咧都係跑唔到嘅，都係要誒慢慢行啦。咁見到巴士都追唔到噶啦。咁啊，之前有做開羽毛球，打開羽毛球嘅，而家都打唔到。And so they told me that I was going to have to quit running immediately, quit playing frisbee, and would need hip, repl hip replacement within six months. The main problem, uh, as I recall, was pain rather than restrictive movement, although uh, movement was restricted. I've used ibuprofen, I used gabapentin, I used everything under the sun just to push through on a daily basis to somehow manage the pain. Within maybe eight months or a year of that point, um, it did start. I, I ended up having to stop running and I kept on playing frisbee, but I went from being the fastest one to one of the slowest. My hip was kind of strange in that even with the bad arthritis, it never hurt. But if I had did activity for more than a few hours, I'd start limping. Uh, and it got to the point where the limp didn't go away. It had come to the point where I just, tears came down my eyes and I just couldn't do it anymore. I said, that's it, it's enough. I was in the news, I saw the surgery of the Big Child. I saw that he was more suitable for the older patients and the older patients. So I went to see, I went to AEA to, uh, because they had the expert, Dr. Brockwell, coming. And uh, he was, I mean, it didn't take him two minutes to say that I was the absolute standard patient. Male, 48, uh, serious hip degeneration. And so uh, he, just, he described the BHR, that it had, uh, how it had progressed in the years since I had looked at it the first time. And it sounded perfect. Your doctor, on suspecting OA of the hip, will refer you to an orthopedic surgeon who will listen to your story, examine you, and look at an x-ray. I have a, a left hip pain mm -hmm. for about uh, five years. Mm. I cannot play badminton mm -hmm. uh, and I cannot uh, walk well. Mm -hmm. Is work okay? My work is okay. Can you get your shoes and socks on okay? Uh, no, on this one I, I cannot put the sauce I yes. must. Are you taking any medicine for pain? Uh, I, I do not, although some doctor will give me uh, Panadol, mm -hmm. but I'm afraid I will rely on this, so I usually I do not take it. Yeah. Can I examine you? Yes, sir. Let me move the sore hip. Please tell me if this hurts. Is that okay? Still okay. That's so. Your x-ray here shows that your right hip is normal, but your left hip has arthritis. There's no gap, there's no cartilage left, the bones are touching each other, and there are lots of extra spikes of bone, called osteophytes in medical English, and guati in Cantonese. The only solution to this problem is some kind of hip replacement. Because you're young and you play badminton, I recommend that you have this kind of hip replacement, which is a Birmingham hip resurfacing. This is a special kind of hip replacement that just covers the ends of the bone, and it allows you to return to normal sport. It's important that you don't do too much for three months after your operation to allow your own bone to recover and regain its normal strength. Is there any spot I may not able to do? You can do whatever you want.